Today we're counting down the 10 most haunted sites in Australia. Each one of these individual sites has multiple reports of hauntings. These include poltergeist activity, whispering in the halls from unknown sources, and mysterious touches and noises. So to kick off the list, we're starting with number 10, Monte Cristo Homestead. Owned by the Crawley family from 1876 to 1948, Monte Cristo Homestead is located in Juni, New South Wales. The history of the home is rather regular for its time, and hauntings there seem quite tame. People who have stayed overnight sometimes report occasional knocks and bumps, but none too serious. Number 9. National Film and Sound Archive Located in Canberra, the National Film and Sound Archive has dark roots. It may today be a host for the nation's media archives, but in 1931 the building was opened as the National Institute of Anatomy. So the building was a morgue, dissection rooms, displays of human and animal organs and tissue, and an overwhelming vibe at night of malevolent presence, even today. It remained as the Institute of Anatomy until the late 70s. Hauntings include sightings of the founder, Sir Colin McKenzie, whose ashes are stored in the building, appearing near them in the late afternoon. There is also reportedly poltergeist activities, notably where the old dissection rooms were, which are now used as meeting and sound recording rooms. It is said that in these rooms, there are strange noises recorded as well, but no evidence of this has come forward. Number 8. Picton Tunnel The story behind the Picton Tunnel is both tragic and haunting. On December 13th of 1916, 51-year-old Emily Bollard had been walking home and decided to shortcut through the 592-foot tunnel. She was unfortunately struck by a train and died, many people speculating on whether her death was a misfortunate accident or suicide. Today, a benevolent spirit roams the tunnels, occasionally giving a few people a scare and often being seen as a faceless white apparition. Number 7. The Devil's Pool Devil's Pool, or the Babinda Boulders, is a natural series of rock pools and waterfalls in Queensland. The site has sparked much speculation into the validity of Australian myths and legends, as well as the origins of the Devil's Pool, Curse. One says it began with the drowning death of a young newlywed woman at the pool. Another says the curse began because of disrespect to the Australian indigenous culture at what is considered a sacred site. Either way, locals steer clear of the site, and it has claimed the lives of exclusively 17 young males since 1915. 1959. Number 6. The Old Melbourne Gale The Old Melbourne Gale operated from 1845 to 1929 and housed and hanged some of Australia's most infamous criminals, including folk hero Ned Kelly. The Gale was host to 133 hanging executions, a death as grisly as some of the crimes committed which landed such deviants in there. Hauntings include echoes of ghostly voices, grotesque apparitions of murder victims and perpetrators, and the occasional cold chill in a sealed room. Number 5. Boggo Road Jail, one of Australia's most notorious former prisons. Boggo Road Jail dominated the Brisbane skyline from 1883 to 1992. The jail housed both men and women convicted of very serious crimes, including armed theft, kidnapping, murder, and rape. The hauntings here can be mild from voices, terrifying apparitions, and distant screaming. Number 4. Port Arthur Port Arthur is widely regarded as Australia's most haunted and notorious prison sites. Paranormal activity has been reported from Port Arthur as early as 1870, and over 1,000 convicts died during its penal history. It was also host to the national tragedy of the Port Arthur Massacre, which claimed 35 lives. It's said that the victims and convicts' ghosts roam the area, silently and mournfully observing passers-by. Number 3. Fremantle Arts Centre the Fremantle Lunatic Asylum was commissioned in 1861 and completed in 1868, using convict labour. The asylum was a host to numerous cases of medical misconduct, suspicious deaths, and wrongful committance of patients. The building switched purposes many times after 1909, before becoming a museum and later art centre in 1972. Hauntings are scarce during the day, but reports have been anonymously submitted by Night Star, particularly one chilling letter, revealing, even when the building is empty, it feels full of an unknown presence. Number 2. Manly Quarantine Centre The history of this place is quite clear. Between 1833 and 1984, it was operational for housing sick and infected immigrants stricken with bubonic plague, smallpox and typhoids. Over 500 patients died during the centre's use, many in great agony, and it's said that the echoes of their screams can be heard at night. Number 1. Beechworth Asylum Located in the appropriately named Mayday Hills, Victoria, the former Beechworth Lunatic Asylum held some of Australia's most criminally insane. Far and wide, it is regarded as one of Australia's, if not the, most haunted sites. Given its history, this is no surprise. Much like the Fremantle Arts Centre, 
a long history of misconduct, abuse, suicide, suspicious deaths, and even rumors of experimentation. A few images have arisen from the asylum of supposed ghosts, such as this one. Perhaps what makes this the most chilling, however, is that the reported paranormal activity is not of glances of ghosts and distant conversation, but rather bold apparitions staring from afar, touches on the shoulders and back, and even reports of whispering into the ears. Thank you very much for watching Wraith and Sprites. Remember, if you want to see me do more of these, tell me in the comments below and give this video a like, share it with your friends. And if you think I've missed any or I've put it in the wrong order, don't forget to tell me that in the comments down below as well. That is all from me. Stay safe out there. And remember, things do go bump in the night.